time to talk about a movie that is very good. The Little Rascals. It starts off in the He-Man Woman Haters Club. Our main character is on a date with a girl, which is seen as a betrayal by the woman haters. But he has to drive the card, which is called the Blur, due to a raffle. They now have some kind are in some kind of trap because of Alfalfa's betrayal. The bullies in this movie steal the card. They want to at least. And it creates a very interesting conflict. Then the side conflict um, is made into existence after Alfalfa is, is, has a date with his crush in the clubhouse where the woman haters are located. And after he's caught, he tries to blow, blow out the cam candles on the cam candelabra. <laughs> he misses one. And due to this, the clubhouse burns down because it's made of wood. Um, and the way they try to extinguish the flames is hilarious. Two, two, of the, two of the people, two of the rascals try and um, call the fire department, but they don't know the number. But then the fire department is, like, right across the street. <sighs> the clubhouse is destroyed, and they now have to raise money. At first, they try and steal it, but after they get caught, they go to well, Spanky and um, Alfalfa go into a ballet concert and dress up as women but the woman running the show get the cut catches them because alfalfa and spanky had a freaking frog and um let me just say the um the, the part the lady running the show is kind of hot um so the bullies do eventually steal the cart and, um, then Alfalfa is running away, and then he is in, um, this rich kid, Waldo's mansion. And, um, he goes into this swimming pool that is a Olympic swimming pool, and he loses his undies. Because he was just in his undies after he undressed from being a woman, kind of. And, um, he undressed from being a woman, and he only had his undies on. So he loses those in the pool. And Darla notices because um, by this point in the story, Darla has freaking gotten it done with Alfalfa. Like, she is over him. And um, eventually, the um, Waldo picks up um, Darla. And it's like, they, they have a romance going on. So that's how... Um, Alfalfa is caught literally with his pants in it. So, um, then they have a falling out. The, the, the club disbands and now they have a falling out. Until the county fair where they have to build the blue blur, or the blur, not the blue blur, blur to the sequel and, um, to drive in the county fair. And, um, they're still trying to raise money, so they go to the county fair. Um, but, but, there's one problem. They can't make any money, but, um, two people, two kids, uh, part of the rascals, um, charge fake admissions to this concert that Alfalfa participates in. And after Waldo's assassination of his singing, which is filled with bubbles, El Mrs. Crabtree um, catches them and um, adds the $500 that they did raise to the race um, prizes. In the race, well, this is what you want to guys, you guys want to know why the, um, the rascals are racing? Because um, Spanky wants to meet AJ Ferguson, which Spanky doesn't know, but is a girl. And AJ Ferguson 
in this movie is actually played by Reba McIntyre, which is actually very cool. Um, and, um, in the race, um, it's implied that Darla gets, um, left behind. Wait, before that, um, um, Walter calls up his dad and says, man, we're about to win this race. And Donald Trump, his dad in this movie, which is hilarious. Like, after, um, after the last four years of presidency, um, at least after Donald Trump's presidency and seeing that, it was funny. It was really funny. Um, but seeing that was funny and, um, Darla supposedly gets left behind by Oswald. Oswald, which is not his name. It is Oswald. Wait, I said Oswald. Um, so they invite women into the He Man Woman Haters Club, which really needs a name change. They invite women into it, and. Um, into their newly refurbished clubhouse because they won that race and they were able to refurbish the clubhouse and, like, get some wood and get some other things so they can, you know, rebuild their, um, clubhouse. So, um, yeah. And then that's pretty much the end of the movie. It's a kind of slice of life -y kind of movie. Um, I'm very nostalgic for it and I love it. It can be enjoyed by all ages. It's very funny, short and sweet. It has a very good message about equality. And, um, it, it, it also has a sequel. And its sequel is also pretty good. Give the Little Rascals a watch. And this movie's ranking is 8 out of 10. And also its sequel is 8 out of 10. I might make a video on it, I'm not sure yet, but its sequel is also an 8 out of 10, with the first one being ever so slightly better. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.